And a very warm welcome to all the guests to Alton Hall, to the Nevo Annual Golf Day. We're going to wander around the golf course and capture one or two of the magic moments. And one man that's having his adventures is Steve Wright here at the 18th hole. Now come on Steve, one of the greatest bunker players in the game of golf. That was a wonderful shot and uh, if you want a bunker lesson give him a call but during lockdown he opened up his own gardening business and you see the technique, rake going back and forward. Only charges a fiver an hour if you want your garden doing, but a little bit more expensive for a bunker lesson. Now back down on the fairway, William Garrett. Now here's a man that has got all the gear and no idea. Oh, and a great strike there. He'll be absolutely delighted with that. It's heading off in the right direction. Now one man that's having a few adventures today is Tim Harrison. And it's great to see that he's out in the Marks and Spencer's summer range of golfing clothing. Ooh, that was a right old chop there. It was like an octopus trying to get out of a telephone box. Now Ian Ford, a hundred yards to go. The touch of a midwife is one of the finest short game players in the game of golf and that is a, a wonderful golf shot there and yes, straight in the heart of the green. Now Tom Garrett, putt for birdie at the 18th hole. Ooh, Thomas lad, they've moved the hole, but never mind, it'll be a safe bar. Now up on the 18th tee, Neil Thomas. Playing the game for many years. He's one of the senior tour players playing here today. He's won tournaments all over the world. Yes, and that's a wonderful drive there. And you see the way we just watched that ball propel some 300 yards straight down the center. Now follow that. David Bamford. Now come on, David. Looking very much the part today. And it's amazing how many... Ryder Cup players next year in Italy. You'll see with the shirts out, the trousers. A great swing there. You see that right foot there. It's sponsored by Superglue. It's not moved off the ground. Now follow that. Clark Roderick. Now come on, Clark. Four under par. He's had an eagle and two birdies. Yes, and that's safely up the middle. Well done there, we'll be delighted with that. There you go. Now Matt Morgan, he's having a nice run as well. He's the last five holes gone five, four, four, five, four, and a five here. It's the telephone number of a very nice massage parlor in the center of Leeds. And if we get it, we'll be in for a happy ending this evening. Now the 13th tee, Len Braid. Now he's a man that uh, They've been playing the game of golf for many years. Captain of the 1929 Ryder Cup team. And it's lovely to see the old swingers here. And, uh, it's a fine shot there. There we go. Captain Ryder Cup 29. Well, the news out on the course today is that Mark Green here has just signed up for the live tour. Greg Norman's called him this morning and he's going to be going out there winning millions in this game of golf. Yes, and that's a safe drive, and that's down the middle, just past the ladies' tee. Now, oh, come on now, Happy Gilmore, Nick Evans. One of our trained athletes that's here today. Bought a new golf shirt in the pro shop this morning. And it comes complete with airbag, and there you go, that's a great drive, that. 300 yards down the middle of the fairway. And finally, Kevin Saunders. Now, come on, Kevin. Nice and relaxed. I was here this morning, 5 o'clock on the driving range, bacon bap and a couple bottles of wine, and it's working wonders. Now, through to the first tee, Blaine Bradley. Now, come on, Blaine. Yes, one of the young bucks, and that was a good drive, young man. Down the middle of the fairway, that's all you got to do. Now, follow that. Here we are. We've got the old man, Sean Bradley, and uh, 
Oh, now there's a wild one. He was going to have a caddy, but he was advised he'd be better with a sniffer dog. He's been everywhere on the golf course today. Now, follow that one. Paul Clay bought a golf book yesterday and how to play the game of golf. Feet together, left hand on right hand, nice and relaxed. Read all 99 pages. Oh, that's gone low. That's known as a sister-in-law. Nice when you're there, but you just don't tell anyone that you've been there. Now, finally, Don Creamer. No relation, he says, to Paula Creamer. Having an interesting round of golf today. Oh, there's an interesting shot. That has not got past the ladies' tee. Oh, playing along behind. Owen Lawrence on the first tee. Oh, Owen, Owen, Owen. That's another wayward one. He's just signed up a contract with Heineken because he's reaching parts of the course that no one else has ever reached. Now, follow that. Andrew Pheasant. He's been playing his golf up at Renaissance in the last week or two, and, and here he is today. Yes, and that's a little worm killer going down the middle of the fairway, safely past the ladies' tee, so no forfeits. And the third member of the team, Luke Croft. Now, come on, Luke. Yes, he looks the golfer, doesn't he? I mean, here we are. You can come along here to Alton Hall and shirts out the trousers. Our favourite golf ball. We've had it for four, ooh, four years and we're in danger of losing it. I've never seen anyone shank a little free wood, but that ball there has finished up nicely nestled in that bush there on the right-hand side. He's been everywhere, playing army golf. Yes, his favourite golf ball. In danger of not finishing this round of golf. The boys have been out here for forever. And all because of this fella here. You won't see him playing in the Open Championship next week at, up in St Andrews, the 150th Open. But here we are. I think we may well have found it. There we go. Now, oh, come on, Maestro. Five groups waiting back on the tee now. Nice little practice swing. And that's the way. The ball's delivered another 120 yards up the middle of the fairway. Lee Evans at the sixth hole. Now, come on, Lee. Ooh, that was shocking there. Yes, yeah, one of the worst golf swings we've seen today. There's more movement from a Swiss cuckoo clock. A new driver that's nearly as big as him as well. Now, Paul May, out in his school uniform today. And now, Come on now, lad. Let's have a good one here. Yes, and that's a nice swing there. He was captain of the school golf team many years ago. And, uh, and there he is. You'd be delighted with that one. Well, every so often you see a great player from Belgium, Tim Antonison, playing his golf down in Spain these days. And, yeah, it's very much tipped to be in that Ryder Cup team over in Italy next year. And that's a fine shot there. Well done, Tim. On the green. Now follow that. Kieran Towning. Very much a touring golfer, plays all over the country, and there's not many that can line up on one side, take off, step back, and the look of amazement. It's the first screen that we've hit today. Well done, Kieran. Now, Alistair Balmforth. Now, come on, Alistair. Yes, that's another great shot there. Yes, tip to win the Open Championship in St Andrews next week. Now, our master bunker player, Steve Wright. Now, come on, Steve. Level par and... Oh, ooh. yes, a well-executed shot. Now, an interesting swing, that, and uh, there he is. A champion golfer playing with one of Belgium's finest. So, having problems, and it's been a... It's like writing a bestseller. We've been everywhere on this golf course, and... Yes, 
Going for the course record, we've already had 120, and we've just got past the halfway house, and here we go. Little, little seven iron. Need a bit of magic. Ooh, we've gone deeper in trouble. Eh, we're having a shocker. Now, oh, Jim Redford, now come on, Jim. Here we are, the eighth tee, and another one of our trained athletes, and did well in lockdown and uh, signed up a contract with McDonald's. He's one of the finest athletes, a great friend of Craig Stadler, and they both go to the same gym once a year. Now, an interesting technique on how to tee the ball up, but here we are. David Woodhead, one of the great lefties, known as Bubba Woodhead to his golfing friends. wearing his favourite green cap today. Ooh, now, now, now. Bubba, what are you doing, that ball there? We just follow it as it heads off somewhere towards those trees on the left-hand side. Now, one man that's uh, having a marvellous round of golf is this man here, Noel Wright. That looks a great practice swing now. Come on, Noel. Level par and great striker of the ball. Yes, and that's a better shot. Straight down the middle of the fairway and that's all we've got to do for the next hour. Now, 14th hole, Nigel Cannon. Par three and yes, and there you go. A swing like the big easy and a lovely little pose for the camera on the follow through. Well done, a great shot, he says. Now follow that, Simon Ross. Now come on, Simon. Wonderful afternoon here at Alton Hall and. Oh, ooh, there's a bit of a snatch. I don't think we're going to see that. That's just a little bit left there. We might get the members bounce. Now, oh, Chris Brooking. Winner of the 1961 Open Championship. One of the old swingers. Used to play with hickory shafted clubs and nowadays got all the conventional gear. And finally, Steve Brearley. It's nice to see our celebrity here. He used to play Captain Mannering in Dad's Army, and nowadays he's actually one of the Teletubbies. He's actually Dipsy. La La couldn't be here today, and uh, and that's a great one there. Played pro celebrity with all the greats over the years. One of the great characters in the game of golf. So here we are, a very crucial putt for Neil Thompson here at the 15th hole. Yes, and there you are. Nicely in for eight, and it stops the run of nines on the scorecard. Oh, 16th hole, longest drive. Adam Megan, now come on, Adam. Let's go for the big one. Open up them shoulders, lad. Oh, we've just taken a quarter pounder out of the tee, and the ball may not have got past the ladies. Now, Scott Mirrelees, now... There's nothing to beat. Now, come on, Scott. Let's have a good one here. Out in his summer gear and going for the big one. A golfing holiday in Florida at your own expense. Yes, and even Douglas Barter had more leg -like movement. Now, oh, come on now. James Edmondson. Now, he's another big fella. Used to be one of triplets, and he managed to eat the other two, and that has not... I don't think we're ever going to see that. I think that's in Leeds City Centre. Now, oh, come on, Neil. I don't think we're going to see that last ball again. Now, come on. Let's have a good one here. The team are desperately needing a little bit of magic. Oh, and a fine drive. That is a driller. Like Arnold Palmer, we've just drilled that one down the centre of the fairway. Now, oh, James Cripps... Now, oh, come on, James. You see, that's a wonderful follow-through there. You see, there's not many that can line up one side, take off, nearly finish up facing in the opposite direction, and still get it past the ladies. 
Now, oh, follow that. Owen Baker. Now, come on, lad. These four used to be a jockey a couple of years ago, and here he is. Oh, well done. Look at that, lad. He'd be absolutely delighted with that. There's straight down the middle. Wonderful setup position as well. Now, Declan Sewell, and it's great to see him. I saw him last week. He's the captain of the UK Gay Golfing Society, and he's out in his shirt today, and here he is. That is horrendous. That's the worst golf shot we've seen today. Now, come on, Dad. This is a Greg Sewell. He, he's an ageing golfer, and uh, he's been playing the game for nearly 100 years, and, and all you've got to do is get it past your lad. Oh, look at that there. Three of the worst golf shots we've seen today. Now, oh, lad, that was horrendous. Now the hole's 170 yards. We still have 155 yards to go. We look like a golf. We could all look here and no idea. I think that's gone into the trees. Don't think we're going to find this ball. They're going to run out of juice in this buggy. Now, Robin Turver. You may recognise him. He's the landlord at the Woolpack in Emmerdale and he's got to be back for closing time later, but that was a, a great little chip there and got the touch of a midwife and pulls a good pint back at the Woolpack. Now, now, now. Jan van der Klast. Come on now. Got to be a great player with a name like that. Oh, and that is a marvellous bunker shot. Yes, if you were Tiger Woods, they'd be roaring in the stands. And all we've got is we've got the landlord from the Woolpack here to cheer him on. Maybe he'll get a pint later on it before closing. Meanwhile, at the back of the green, Dan Varney. Now, come on, Daniel. Team are needing a little bit of inspiration. Now, two great shots into 17. David Llewellyn here, putt for birdie. And there you are, like a master, and the team inspired by this great player. There you go, down for three, well done. Now, coming to the last few holes, Graham Kingaby and... Uh, been having a few games with him recently and getting more and more confident. He's my star protégé, and that is a wonderful drive there. I'd just like to say that I was responsible for that one. Well done. Now, follow that one. Paul Howard. Now, come on, Paul. Yes, and that's another little driller. Well done there. We'll be pleased with that. And finally, Stuart Worth. Yes, down at Trivose, they had the, the Legends Tournament last week, and, and here we are. Another legend, and that was a great drive as well. Look at that there. There you go. It's an easy old game, isn't it? Playing down at Travos and St. Enidoc, some great golf courses down in Cornwall. And after the perfect tee shot here at the fourth, David Graddon, 120 yards to go, and a member of the Travos Golf Club down in Cornwall, and there's a fabulous golf course, and just hosted the Farm Foods Legends tour there, and and maybe one day, you never know, we may well be on that tour as well. But there we are, just get that lucky club in the bag and putter out one putt and a birdie. And at the end of the day, that little white ball, that's all that matters. And I hope today that everybody's enjoyed the day here at Alton Hall on the Nevo Annual Golf Day. And I'm sure there'll be a few stories to be told about the favourite white golf ball that disappeared. The putts and a few of the drives were a little bit wayward. But at the end of the day, we've had a great day. And if you haven't been captured on camera, you were very lucky.